I'm Mungo Dark Matter and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters, I'm going to show you how to use redstone repeaters. Now before we get started, I'm going to show you real quick how to make one. And they're really easy to make, so let's go over here to the crafting table first. The bottom row of uh, the crafting table, these three squares right here, are filled with stone. And then we take a piece of redstone and put it in the center square of the grid. And then on either side of the redstone, we put a redstone torch. And you can see we end up with a repeater there. Why would you want to make a redstone repeater? And what can you use it for? I've made this uh, circuit here to demonstrate uh, how far a redstone signal will go through uh, redstone. And if I flip the switch on, you'll see that um, these lights, these redstone lights have gone on and uh, this line of redstone is kind of bright and then it begins to fade and it hits here and these redstone lights go out and the line fades to the color that it would be uh, if there were no current going through it. Now, if I want to make a circuit or a, a line of redstone that goes longer than 15 blocks, what I can do is I can knock this redstone out here and put a redstone repeater in. Uh, but you've got to put it in facing the correct direction. So if I put it in like this, you can see the lights go on and it's extended uh, the uh, circuit another 15 blocks and after I hit 15 blocks I could put yet another repeater and continue the redstone farther and so on and so forth. Now the signal will only flow one direction through the repeater and it flows in the direction from this red line here towards the two posts. So if I knock this out again and I go over here and put it in this position, which is the, the, the wrong position, the current will not flow to the next part of the circuit. So be aware of that if you're having problems with repeaters. They need to be facing the correct direction for the f current to go flow through them. I'm going to just put this back the way it was. And so now that we have the full circuit again. Now as I mentioned, the uh, signal will only go in one direction through the uh, redstone repeater. So I've made a very simple circuit here to demonstrate that. If I throw this switch right here, it sends a signal through this redstone, through the repeater, into the next bit of redstone. I'm going to turn this off. If I turn this switch on, it turns on this redstone, but the repeater blocks it. A repeater is just like a diode in electronics. In electronics, you have a component called a diode, and electricity will only go in one direction through it. Now, the next obvious question is, like, so what? Why would you want uh, to have the current or the signal only go in one direction? So I've set up this uh, circuit right here to demonstrate uh, some possible uses. If I turn this switch on right here, it turns this one redstone light on, leaves the other two off. And the reason is, is because it hits this repeater and the repeater stops it from going through in this direction because the repeater only goes in the opposite direction. So I'm going to turn that off. I turn this one on and this one lights up and the other two lights do not light up. So I'll shut that off again. If I use this switch, however, all three lights light up because uh, these bits of redstone on either side of the switch are connected to repeaters and they're connected to the correct side so the uh, signal will flow through the repeater. Now another use of redstone um, repeaters is as delays or timers or clocks. There is a uh, a uh, delay of uh, a tenth of a second by default on on each uh, repeater. So I'm going to turn this switch on. Make sure let me stand here so it's a little easier to see. And you'll see that 
The current rolled through those. There was a slight delay between the time each one lit up. I'm going to turn the switch off again. Now, if I right click on this um, repeater, it changes the delay. And if I put the uh, second pole position all the way over here to the left, that's the maximum amount of delay there is, which is like four tenths of a second. So almost half a second. So I'm going to do that to each one of these. I can go back over here and throw the switch and you can see it rolls down towards the redstone light more slowly and finally lights it up. Now you can use these uh, delays uh, to make sure certain things happen or don't happen in your circuit at particular times. Like if you want one event to occur first, you may want a delay before the next event is triggered. All right, I'm going to go over here to this circuit and show you uh, the fourth use that you can do with uh, redstone uh, repeaters. Now, if I turn this switch on, current runs through this repeater to this light. And I can turn the switch off and it will go off. I'm going to turn it on again and I'm going to flip this switch over here. This repeater is perpendicular to the uh, main repeater and you can see this bar comes up when you turn it on. So if I turn this off, it actually blocks this repeater from going off, and so the signal stays uh, going through to the next uh, component. Now, if I turn this off again, the circuit will go out. And if I turn it on again, it blocks it again, but this time it blocks it so that if I turn this on, it won't light up the redstone because it stops the current from flowing over there. So that's how you can use uh, another redstone repeater uh, to kind of lock the first repeater if you want it locked in a particular position at certain times for whatever reason. Now there's, here's one more uh, demonstration. Uh, if I put a torch here, or a redstone torch here, and I put some redstone and I put this and then I put some more redstone put some more redstone and then I put a redstone light as you can see nothing happens here but if I knock this out and I put a repeater here it actually lights this up. Now the reason this is good is because this allows you to actually send a redstone's current through a wall without putting a hole in the wall or without digging a hole down and having a hole go under the wall uh, un underground level. So that's a, a nice uh, design feature and a nice kind of bonus feature of repeaters. So that's how you can use repeaters in Minecraft uh, with redstone circuits. You can use them to extend the length of the signal. You can use them to control the flow of a signal because the signal will only go through a redstone repeater in one direction. You can use them for timing and delay circuits. You can also use them uh, to lock other um, repeaters and finally you can use them to uh, send a signal through a wall without actually having to put a hole through the wall. I'm Mungo Dark Matter and this has been Dark Matters and whatever you do enjoy playing Minecraft. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.